What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm finally checking out Promo Joe. Y'all have been asking me to check it out for quite some time. So, guess what? I'm going to do it for you guys. This is going to be my first video I'll check out, and I'll probably check out some other ones if you guys want me to. It's called Apologize for Being a Wrestling Fan. This should be an interesting one. You guys say he's kind of like Botchamania. Some of you guys prefer Promo Joe over Botchamania and vice versa. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all love and support. I'm very interested to see how he does these little clips. And let's get right into this one, man. Promo Joe. Is it day late? Oh no. I wrestled John Moxley. He ripped my earlobe off. My last match ever in this industry was against Claudio Castagnoli. He finished me off by jumping on my head with two feet. Oh damn. That's why I lo no longer compete. I've been fighting Holy wow, the accuracy on that. He was telling the truth. Part of this hour. This has got to be fatigue unlike any other situation those men have ever <laughs> is he yelling to the gate every drop of blood that you lose yeah man and you know who wants to see this match again <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good that's good <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's that's a good one. The people. Ah, uh, we the people. <laughs> All I gotta say is when I meet athletes, I'm like, put some respect on our name, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but <laughs> it's it's really cool. Like for um, when I had the main event with with uh, at WrestleMania 37. I was like the first black woman to get to main event at WrestleMania, and we won an SB off of that match. Oh, um, bro, whoa, hey, yo. I'm furious. Brian Danielson, you cheeky bastard. You cheeky, cheeky bastard is filmed in front of a live studio. <laughs> He's all over his opponent. Oh, oh but Jim is caught with the Irish Curse Backbreaker. They, uh, they do look like a boy band group. Yoshihashi off the apron and now look at QT, look at QT, it's a T, oh, the QT special, oh yeah, rarely done, it's the QT special, baby, the you know QT really special, the special. <laughs> intentions, violent intentions, oh, this was a crazy it. spot, bro, oh, do it, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Because I saw the tweet and it was like uh, seven different matches. With it different was literally clips. six or seven matches of Bret Hart, and then they were like, "Oh, watch this and this." I took a front turnbuckle, and they were like, "Oh, that was just like the Owen and Bret match." Bret no. took a German suplex before. Oh uh, yeah, he took a German suplex. Like, no, no, it wasn't. I just love wrestling, man. God damn, I, I love. Sorry for saying GD in front of you. GD. I love wrestling. I love it, and I watch it every single day. There's not a day that goes by I don't watch wrestling. So yeah, if I accidentally subconsciously steal something from the match, ah, uh, it's bad. the comparison because he he is going beat for beat too. And I apologize for being a wrestling fan above everything else. That's my fault, okay? Not not anybody else's fault. But uh, I didn't. The one thing we stole. I guess from the Brett Owen match was the victory roll because people thought that was going to be the finish, and we wanted to trick you guys, and that's it. One or two things, yes, purposely taken from WrestleMania 10. Everything else just happenstance. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, bro. They, the internet's going to enter there. They're going to look up files and compare clips. And, yeah, that look just, like, recreated. Like, for move for move, damn it. Summer party time. Come on in. Are you serious, bro? Uh, is this <laughs> for my money the best tournament in the history of sports oh my god that was brutal bro just right here too bink bro mate he was not playing i thought it was almost at the time i thought it was like bro just watching that it was just like, yo, it, it was cool to see just Cesaro really get the love or Claudio as he goes by. Get the love that he's always deserved. You know, he's gotten it in WWE, but they just 
never really was going to push him as the main guy, obviously, because he wasn't really a good talker. But in ring worker, there was no doubt about it. He was he was fantastic. Still is fantastic. Roger Clemens clucking all the while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, wrestling. <laughs> wrestling definitely the injury bug. The injury god has definitely been moving around for both companies. That is kind of crazy to see. It's the noise, the sound effects they're adding. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that little slip up. What the hell? Oh, he did it again. Ruby Soho. They did it again. Marcus Cross steps through here and was looking for a figure four. Two. Almost. Yeah, Marcus Cross. Don't relate to Chris, uh, the former hip hop star. Really? <laughs> best podcast out there that's not ours <laughs> yeah it's an interesting name uh suggesting that claudio castagnoli may have already been seen in AEW as the masked cameraman as the masked cameraman. really <laughs> business because i think you should do more stuff to indicate that you're good guys then people will cheer for you so if you don't mind i've put together a list next one it's a good one to yell come on exclamation mark let me hear you <laughs> it's <laughs> inclusive let me allow me to hear you have to enunciate it so much come on let me hear let you let me hear you when they go is he from a little more France? laid back dude let I, me hear you. I, I, <laughs> they actually did it ringside courtesy of kfc four lucky fans were given the ultimate fan experience but i'm not sure we've seen any oh wow quite like what's happened with julia hart four lucky fans were given the ultimate fan experience Colors. and her opponent from Denver, Colorado, Heather Ratliff. Are you serious? You think there's anything to that, man? Let me That's crazy, bro. That's actually pretty cool. Something to you people. No, not the... <laughs> we cry together music. No! <laughs> not the we cry together instrumental. Oh, my God. You don't know shit. <laughs> I am the best. I'm the best. This is the great. From <laughs> your perspective, what happened? Yeah. Especially after the great show we did, I'm, I'm not gonna comment on it. You fucking what? Bro, they do have a toxic relationship. <laughs> it's time for the main event. Oh, that was great. I love that clip. Oh, okay. What was that? Oh, no. Oh, that was major botch action. Uh oh, oh, uh oh! Whoop whoop! Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, that was definitely a botch right there too. What the hell is going on? Oh Jesus! <laughs> he didn't get all of that at all. Oh no, oh no, they, it was a miscue. It was a miscue. Oh, this right there, yeah. The whole title falling over. <laughs> oh. oh no, oh! <laughs> Jim Cornette. Yo, buddy, say the claim and the gun. Yo, we back up in the mix. Got more people hearing me than January 6th. <laughs> Honestly, I have something to say, but somebody made me sign an NDA. 
<laughs> we gonna kill you so casual makes sense St. Louis is the murder capital. And let me hit you with a factoid. Everybody loves the acclaimed and the ass boy. <laughs> it's the fact that they got that from uh, Jim Cornette's podcast as he's reading the lines. That's funny. Hair loss. Yes, hair loss, hair loss, hair loss. Oh. Got it? Now. There is absolutely no reason to suffer from hair loss. John. feature stunts performed either by John, John, John with the hair loss. Accordingly, MTV and the producers must insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. Two, one, five. <laughs> the fact that Sting is still doing this. <laughs> This was cool, man. I enjoyed this video. It's the We Cry Together clip. Oh my God, bro. The fact they used that sample as <laughs> MJF goes off on television. Beautiful. That's MJF, Tony Khan, toxic relationship. I loved it, man. This was great, bro. Hey, if y'all want me to check out some more promo Joe, y'all know what to do. Run up the likes down below. Let me know. Please check out some more promo Joe. And I'll be checking it out for you guys relatively soon. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all in the next one. Peace.